Hi everyone, and today I wanted to look at the NX Studio. It's something that Nikon has just come out with. I'm gonna disappear so we have a full screen to the actual software. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's a long exposure picture I took in Northern Ireland when I visited it. And again, I'm taking this as here's the JPEG. And you can see here that the JPEG and the RAW are more or less identical. There's there's a little bit of little bit of difference if you look really carefully, but that's sort of where you're at. So I want to go through this picture and do some stuff. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is apparently this comes with a retouch brush. One of the problems I had on this trip was that there was a lot of like little dust spots and stuff on the sensor. Obviously in Photoshop, you go through and you can clean them out with the healing brush. Now, surprise, surprise, there's actually a similar tool here in the uh, NX Studio, which does a pretty good job. Again, I'm not 100% sure how it works. You can just basically adjust the brush size, make it a little bit bigger. But all I'm doing is going through here and just trying to nick out some of the spots. Background and the foreground are a little dotty. And this is the importance when you're traveling to take a kit to clean your lens. And I think we got most of them. Anyway, we can always come back to this. There we go. So here we're going to go. We're going to do a white balance. Now, this is the original value that it got. Um, you can hit gray point. It's going to adjust it slightly. You can hit calculate automatically. It's going to make it a change. And then you got some autos here and stuff. Now, this is actually a very blue picture because it was taken at night. But you can sort of see how you can change some of the settings. All right, let's stick it on auto too. That's, that seems fine. Um, exposure values. Do I want to make it a little bit brighter or do I want to make it a little bit darker? And there is a bit of a lag um, when I'm doing this. So, and you can also do fine adjustments here. But what I want to do is looking up here at the histogram, I, I want it where I'm not actually blowing out the blues and stuff like that. So let's, let's pull it back up and see what we get. Okay, that's probably good enough. It's a little bit of a bump, but it's not too bad. You have again here, um, your active delighting, which is going to improve some parts of the image and try to adjust the brightness and darkness. With active delighting, there's also brightness and color control. You can also use this instead of active delighting if you really want to pull things in. And that's sort of the raw component of the software palette. Um, at this point, you've sort of done everything that you can do in RAW, and we're starting to play with, again, the JPEG. So if we look at the original image here, this is what originally it looked like. It was very blue. It was very dark. Um, wasn't super great. And we look here at the RAW image. This is what it comes out to looking like. Again, there's a lot of touch-up I can do. We're going to use a, basically a level correction here, get a little bit darker. But now I'm, I'm actually having it where I'm darkening colors and a little bit of control. You got color booster, so you can pick nature and then you can boost the color a bit. It actually works pretty well. So I'm going to leave that like that. Uh, adjustment details. So this is noise reduction. Uh, I'm going to turn noise reduction on. Let's say hi. Because again, this is a night shot. And I'm going to pick astro noise reduction. So that's going to hopefully help make this picture look a little bit nicer. And then sharpness. Again, I'm going to turn on a bit of sharpness. Not not the tool I normally use, but we'll turn on a little bit. And we can sort of zoom in and see what the effect is. Sharpness on, sharpness off. You really have to pixel peep to sort of notice it on an image like this, but it does exist to a certain extent. And yes, as I'm zooming out and you're seeing this little delay, that is the delay in the software, it's the same thing I'm seeing. It's not the recording software doing something weird. Uh, then, of course, we have the touch up here. So I have a little spot right here. So I'm going to grab this brush. And I'm just going to touch it up. There we go. And there's another one over here. See if there's any other sort of sneaking around. But I think we're pretty good on this. Awesome. So you can see this brush, you know, it does what it's supposed to do does a pretty good job. Sometimes you have to go over it more than once just to convince it that yes, you do want to get rid of that dot or whatnot. Oh, the sensor was so dirty on this trip. Okay, cool. Let me zoom back out. And here, here's our image so far. And now we're going to just close some of these brushes because we're going to go down to um, just composition. Okay, so I don't necessarily want to crop it. Probably do want to straighten it a bit. 
All right, so I found out the straighten tool. So I'm gonna hit straighten here. Go from there, there. It's probably pretty straight. Yeah, it's saying it was oh, okay. Apparently, it was saying it was flat already. Good. Um, I can also use cropping here, but I don't really want to crop this image. If I were to crop it, I'd just crop like really small here, the center. But for this image, I don't really want to do that for this perspective. Um, there's perspective control, and then got camera correction. So correct for more. Oh yeah. So if you want to do dust off, um, apparently you have to take a dust off image reference, um, which I don't have, and it'll remove all that dust and stuff. Basically, it's like taking a flat in astrophotography. It's kind of a neat thing to have. I have honestly never used it, uh, although I should. But uh, the problem with dust is that if you use dust off, you always have to like get a new one to make sure that it's right. That's all the tools that this thing has, and we can see here that you know this is what we originally started off with was this picture here. It wasn't a bad picture. Obviously, I have to go clean up the sky, but it was kind of a bland picture, whereas this guy here pulls out a little bit more color, pulls out a little bit more definition, definitely in the greens. And if we really wanted to, we can always go back up here, again, adjust the white balance, or more particularly, if I can figure out how to do it. So that's sort of what you can do with the image. And I guess I could go like that. Oh, it's, oh there we go. Aha. So ultimately, you could take an image like this, which is blue. You can go through here and obviously do a white balance adjustment. That actually worked out really well once I figured out how to do it. Um, and you can definitely change the color here. Now, what I'd want to do, because I did this, is go all the way down to colors. Chroma key. I want chroma. I want to make the blues bluer. Really blue. And the red's a little bit lower. There we go. So that's sort of what uh, NX Studio does. It's a quick little view. Basically, it allows you to adjust your raw files, which if you're using any sort of photo editing program, uh, you can do this. And then you can obviously go like this and go export. And you can export this image as a JPEG, as a TIFF, apparently JPEG and TIFF. And I always say 100% because I'm crazy. And I don't care about that stuff there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hit the export. It says save as the same in the original. You know what? Let's just save at there. We hit export. And that's the photo. And this is, again, NX Studio, just a basic run through. So it just gives you an idea of what you can do with uh, RAW, obviously, um, taking one photo and changing it. Uh, if you've ever shot with raw, this is why when people ask me, should you shoot JPEG or raw? I'm always saying shoot with raw, but yeah, NX studio gives you a way of adjusting those raws. So if you don't actually own, um, a piece of software that can adjust the raws itself, NX studio does that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. However, since this is free software, you can just go onto Nikon's website and download it. I'll have a link in the description. You can basically play around with this as much as you want. If you have a Nikon camera. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's sort of a neat thing that uh, Nikon has come out with and it made it free. It does do what a lot of other software do, but it's Nikon sort of solution. So you know you're getting the purest raw file adjustments that you can, and it seems to work quite well. So very nice, very cool, and definitely worth checking out. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.